legend has it, it was written by the Dark Ones. Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Roughly translated, Book of the Dead. Bound in human flesh and inked in blood, it contains bizarre burial rites, funerary incantations, and demon resurrection passages. Too spooky? I feel like that's too spooky. Let's, uh, take two. Hello, all you people out there in TV land. My name is CB Studios, also known as Kurt, and today we are looking at the Ash vs. the Evil Dead Necronomicon Ex Mortis, Book of the Dead prop replica. Now, I am dressed as Ash today specifically for this. It's really warm, hence my glistening glow, but I figured that if I was going to be discussing such an awesome prop, we should be uh, appropriately dressed. So I've got my stylish blue shirt, the indestructible blue shirt. We've got the harness, a Kelly belt. We have most of the power glove, which has certainly seen better days. And hell, we've even got the shotgun shell reloader from season three. It's good time. Now, what is this book? Where did I get this book? How is this uh, a book? All of these questions and more should not have crossed your mind at all, but we are gonna answer them. This is a prop replica from Ash vs. the Evil Dead of the Necronomicon from the TV series. Now, in each property, both movies and the TV series, and then the subsequent reboots and remakes and spin-offs and all that sort of thing, do have a Necronomicon Ex Mortis, and it is different in every property. The one in Evil Dead 1 is quite small, it's almost notebook sized. Evil Dead 2 is the classic Necronomicon. Army of Darkness has a much larger one uh, that has some teeth and various details. You've got the Evil Dead reboot from 2013, now 10 years old, so I feel old with that. We have the Ash vs. the Evil Dead Necronomicon, which is, in my opinion, uh, my favorite. And then in Evil Dead Rise, coming out in just a few short months, we have a completely new Necronomicon that almost reminds me of the Monster Book of Monsters from Harry Potter. I know we don't talk about Harry Potter, but it's 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 fine. This is specifically from the TV series, and this was a collaboration project between myself and Triple X Gothman, Triple X Al Barati. You guys have heard me talk about him on the channel. Uh, Al and I create a bunch of really fun stuff together, but this was a collaboration project with himself and myself in the Facebook group Knights of Sumeria, uh, fans of Ash vs. the Evil Dead. This is a complete ground up book. Al went through and used a lot of the reference from the show, uh, all of the pieces and props that were sold off, any images of the pages as they popped up, and has gone through and repainted everything and made a very, very accurate copy of the internals of this book. We have pretty much every major page that you see in the show. There's lots of the, uh, the iconic imagery is in there. There's a lot of bull script. We've got a lot of pages in there. It's, it's really neat. He's done an amazing job doing the actual insert for this book. All of the pages are printed on this really nice, almost waxy paper. It's got a very, very cool finish to it. Uh, I've even got some uh, loose lost pages in this book, which is a lot of fun. And it's a beautiful internals to this book. It's really, really nicely printed. The colors are beautiful and it's been aged fantastically. Now, Al has gone through and bound these pages together as well. It's not inked in blood, it's not bound in human flesh, but it may as well be, because it's pretty gnarly. We have uh, almost, I think we've got over 100 pages in here. It's been a while since we did this, uh, or since I actually looked at this one. This is actually the prototype version. The very first one that was ever made is in my possession. Now, every book needs a cover. The cover is the part that slowed Al down on this. Al is a fantastic artist, can do some of the greatest work, but wasn't comfortable in sculpting a cover and casting a cover in latex, which is where I come in. This sculpt is my own from scratch, sculpted in claymate clay from Barnes, so like plasticine, and it was sculpted to match the dimensions of the prop book covers and prop books that were sold at auction when they liquidated all the props and costumes from Ash vs. the Evil Dead when they wrapped shooting back in 2018. They'd posted a lot of really, really good photos of the front and the sides of all of these pieces, rough dimensions, which really, really helped with this, as well as production pulls. So pulls from the original molds of the silicon book covers. Yes, they were silicon for Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Pulls of the silicon book covers that hadn't been finished up. There were also really nice photos of the gag Necronomicons, the ones that eat hands, and all that sort of fun stuff. 
So it enabled me to make a very, very accurate sculpt of this book. Lots of texture, lots of detail. We've even got hand-stitched little pieces, there's little strips here where there's cuts that are hand-stitched. And then it's all glued down to this book, allowing us to have <laughs> a full book. It's really nice. It's got some squidge to it, which is awesome. It's got foam padding underneath, and it's been painted and sealed uh, with sealed with plaster dip, so it's really, really nice and durable. Should be super, super long lasting. It's a really, really hefty prop. It feels super cool in the hand. Feels very much like you would expect the real one to, which is beautiful. It's an excellent addition. Now, I haven't met many of the people from the cast, unfortunately. Uh, Ash vs. the Evil Dead, if you didn't know, as well as the reboot, were actually filmed in New Zealand. Just a short hop, skip, and a jump across an ocean from me. A lot of the cast is Australian and Kiwi, which is really excellent. And in season three, we get introduced to Ash's daughter, Brandy. And Brandy's actress, Ariel Carver O'Neill, actually came to a local convention uh, several years back. And I got the inside of my book signed by Brandy from Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Eventually, as I go through and I meet other actors from the series, I want to get this page signed. I'd love to get Bruce Campbell's autograph, obviously. Lucy Lawless, because yeah, Lucy Lawless. Ted Raimi. We've got so many people in that, in that cast that are absolutely fantastic. I'd love to get it signed. But I got this page signed, and I got one of my lost pages that was in this book signed for Al and sent that over to him. So he has a page signed by Brandy, which is really, really neat. I'm going to give you a whole lot of really nice close-up shots of this piece as we finish here. There's not a whole lot more to talk about. I'm going to let the images speak for itself because this thing looks like it walked straight off set. It's beautiful. So well detailed. I don't sell these. I don't sell my covers, and I don't sell the books. Al does sell the books in the Knights of Samaria group, but they are very, very limited. He does about four a year. You will not get in for 2023. Those run spots are already taken. The reserve spots for that run are already taken. I believe he will take orders for 2024 towards the end of the year, but I do not know. Don't hassle him. He does not make them to sell. He does four a year and then sells them off. So your only chance to get one of these is to be really, really, really active in that group and wait for the announcement. You can't have mine, it's mine. That is about all from me today, guys. I wanted to show off this piece of demon technology, this amazing prop replica that I adore. One of my proudest moments was collaborating in this and seeing the response and everybody's thoughts on this piece and how much they loved it and how accurate everybody thought it was. Really, really, really proud moment for me to see this out in the community and see so many people hold it in such high regards. Throw me a subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Throw me a comment if you own one of these guys. I'd love to know who actually has one in their collection. Uh, if you like this book, if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, please do let me know. If you're keen for Evil Dead Rise, I want to hear it as well. I think that trailer looks amazing. It's going to be super, super rad. That's about it from me, guys. Until next time, Plateau Verada. <coughs>